Well, Ian, it's a novelty week for you. You've had a full week on the training ground. How much have you been looking forward to that and how much have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I mean, you, you obviously you love the games. That's the competition. But being out on the, the training pitch is fantastic. And especially, you know, with the weather that we've had and having a full week with the group out on the pitch, the first full week that we've really properly had to, to kind of get out there and get into the players and get some detail into them. I think it's been a fantastic week. So what has the week looked like from Monday through to today's session? What have you been up to? Yeah, I mean, like Monday obviously is two days after the game. So there's a bit of recovery process, a bit lighter for the players that have played and a bit more intense for those that didn't play at the, the weekend. But then we had everybody out on the pitch Tuesday and it was a brilliant session. Really, really good. You know, we got in with a, a bit of a bit of like shape and tactical work. But then after that, it was all about the kind of intensity of the play and I think the players were, were at it from minute one in that training session. It was a brilliant session to watch. So, you know, we really got into them and tried to get that kind of, yeah, competitiveness into the training session, um, which they all love to, to be a part of. And then uh, Wednesday was rest day and then Thursday, Friday has been mainly a shorter session, still intense, but a bit with uh, kind of tactics ready for the weekend. We heard Connell Rawlinson uh, describe Tuesday's session as one of the best he's had for years. Is that something that you and Mo pride yourselves on, putting sessions on which, which players really enjoy? Yeah, I think, to be honest, that's one of my, and certainly Mo's, biggest strengths, I think, is being out on the training pitch and being able to work with the players and, and uh, improving them there. So, you know, that's what I've been doing for years and, and I haven't really felt like I've had that much opportunity to get out there and really get into that. Um, those kind of sessions that we really love to put on, you know, with that kind of intensity, competitiveness and work with the players like that. But yeah, you could see Connell after the session. I think all the players really responded well on that session. Do you feel better for having a full week? Yeah, yeah, I do, because I love being out there and, and love working with the players. And I think you can see them enjoying it and, and improving. So yeah, it's been a, honestly, it's been a brilliant week to, to, uh, to be out there. And you've had a new addition out there as well, Luke Steele. He's only yeah. had two training sessions so far, but just uh, tell us why you brought him in. Yeah, I mean, obviously with Sam uh, struggling with his groin and, and it could be, it's not a serious one, it could maybe be two, a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, but in that time it's like six games. So it's so many games coming up and, and we felt like we just needed a little bit of extra security in there. You never know if, if Sam gets a setback or something negative can happen. Um, and we're coming to a really key part of the season and I felt Luke was um, somebody with fantastic experience. He's been in big clubs, in big arenas and certainly coming towards the end of the season, I think that kind of experience can really benefit us. Mm. Ten games left then, Ian. Um, it feels like a, a, a good point to sort of take stock of, of where we are and, and look ahead to the future. You know, what, Where do you see our position and what are your hopes between now and the end of the season? I mean... We're disappointed with the last three results. Um, we know that we've, we've got to be better in these games to, to pick up the results. So we're really disappointed with that. And we're kind of trying to use that as a bit of motivation to, to push us now. And we really need to get some momentum going. So it's 10 cup finals, basically. And then hopefully some more, um, you know, at the end of the season where we can really give ourselves a push for promotion. Because I think we, although we've just slipped out of the playoffs with the games in hand, we put ourselves right back in the mix. I think that's got to be our focus. We've got to, to push to be in those uh, positive playoff spots. And then from there, you know, it's just about stepping up in, in, in the final games. And, and then I think we, we give ourselves a really good opportunity. We've got a real mixture of challenges between now and the end of the season, haven't we? We've got Torquay, for example, followed by Eastleigh, two very strong sides. And then we've yeah. got teams that have been struggling recently, you know, probably given the circumstances, furloughing players, etc. So yeah. you've got a real mix match of fixtures. Yeah. It's going to be a fascinating running, isn't it? It's Yeah, they're very different, all the games, you know, certainly this weekend. And like you say, Eastleigh's a tough, tough away game. So, you know, we go there with, the, with that challenge to try and get the points from, from those games. And then after that, yeah, we play some of the other teams that are further down the table but for me it's just about gaining that momentum I think the momentum going into the playoffs is key whichever team is driving with that momentum when they get there has got a real chance of of going up so I think that that's what now from now until the end of the season it's just about gathering that momentum improving the performances getting the results and and taking that forwards into the playoffs we all know obviously players and fans thrive off the run into the yeah. end of the season because it everything starts to mean yeah. just that little bit more. The business end. The business end, yeah. as people call it. What about you and you and Mo? Do you, are you able to get excited by it or do you have to kind of keep yourself distanced from it a little bit? Um, 
A bit of both, you know. I think we I, we get excited for the games and the prospect of playing in, in big games towards the end of the season. I think we all want that, and the, the pressure's good. You know, we like the to feel that pressure that we you know we're playing for something valuable. Um, but at the same time, you try to just keep focused on each game at a time and, and what we need to do in those games to try and get the result. So come on then, Torquay. Um, we all know that they're a strong side. Yeah. Um, but so are we, aren't we? And um, yeah. presumably you and Mo have a plan to, to go there and get the three points. Yeah, I think they are a good team um, and they've been in good form and they're, they're up there pushing for, for the automatics. But like you say, we're a strong team also and I think we, on our, on our, on our day, I don't think there's any team that can can beat us in this league. I think we can certainly, if we play to our full capabilities, we can beat anybody in the league. So we, we go with the mindset that we can win the game and, and that we, you know, we've got the players and the capabilities to do that. So who are the lucky uh, lads that are going to be making the, the trip down to Torquay and the long bus journey? Have we got any positive team news to report? Um, to be honest, everybody's fit except for Sam Slocum. Uh, Damien McCrory is, is a bit more of a long-term injury with him, but everybody else is, is fit and available for selection. So it's great to have that um, you know the strength in depth now, and, and everybody available and fighting for the spots. So it means there's competition within the squad that some players obviously won't make the squad, and hopefully that fuels them into to fighting harder to try and get into the team and improve. And, and those that go down, you know, it's a long trip down there, but so we want to be taking three points back. Mm. A lot of talk, obviously, on on Michael Doyle, who's obviously the club yeah. captain. We've we've missed him, obviously, but yeah. Richard Brindley as well. Great to see him back in training yeah. and starting to come back in and around it. You know, he's a, a quality right back. How much are you looking forward to having him at your disposal again when the time's right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, certainly Doyle, like you said, is um, a really influential character on the pitch in terms of leadership, and we've missed that in a couple of games. And sometimes it's key moments. You know, like we concede from set piece in 40, 46 minutes or overtime in the first half and I think sometimes that experience can kind of manage them situations and you know understand we get to half time and then we solve the problems from there so I think him coming back in is massive and I think uh, yeah Brins is trained really well so it's it's good to have a, another player with experience you know ready to come in but having said that I think Dion's done great um, so you know it's a competition to get that spot and, and I like that best problem a manager or a head coach can ever yeah, have. Yeah, we want good play we want players playing well and plenty of competition in there and players hungry to get on the pitch. So I think that's a good situation to have. Right, so after you've got off this seat you're off straight on the bus to Torquay. Yeah. So what's what's this evening planned at the hotel? You know, what's what's the plan between now and kickoff? Yeah, I mean obviously it's a long journey so I tend to sit and listen to some podcasts and we do a bit of work me and Mo on the, the set pieces and some details around uh, the match and the players probably relax then we get to the hotel have a have an evening meal we'll, we'll do some video analysis and then, then let the players rest and then in the morning we do the same go for a bit of a walk freshen up and then yeah some some video and some detail before we go to the stadium so I, I don't mind an away trip I know it's a bit of a journey down there but I, I quite like it because you get the team together you, you spend a bit more time you can go on into little conversations and get little detail in, you know, when you're down at the hotel. So I, uh, I certainly don't mind an away trip for, for bringing the boys together.